Man, this is where it's at. Oh, man. In case you were wondering where it's at, this is it. Yeah, I've been on hiatus for a little while. A yeah, nice reboot, that's the name of the video. And uh, I'm back in Moorhead City, North Carolina. Oh my god, I just saw something swipe at it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I um, took some time out and I went up to New York. And I got to see some cool places while I was up there. New York is my hometown, more specifically the famous borough of Brooklyn. My family has been in and around this place since long before the Belt Parkway even existed, or that tremendous suspension bridge called the Verrazano. In my memory, the traffic really wasn't that much worse, but I don't remember it being so green. To me it seemed like there were a lot more trees near the highway. I remember there being a big garbage dump around here, not too far away from the exit off the Belt Parkway that would take me home. Number 13, Rockway Parkway. I was pleasantly surprised to see how clean everything was. I've seen some nasty rural areas, and this is big city, even Canarsie Pier, which was only a short bike ride for a young Marty Zoffinger back in the late 70s. These areas near the water of my hometown seem like they were finally being taken care of a lot better than they were when I was a kid. This is pretty nuts. This is where I grew up. The place looks uh, a lot different. You know, there's folks over here fishing and the water, my goodness. I remember old rusty cars sticking out of the water here when I was a kid. I see fish out there jumping. That's pretty awesome. Everywhere I looked, there was evidence of efforts being made to clean the place up. As I looked around, the only garbage I could find were the breadcrumbs on the ground left there for the pigeons. Yeah, the pier was looking pretty nice. There were benches where people could play checkers or backgammon, and the only nastiness was coming from the exposed sea life, which is a normal thing next to the water at certain times of day. It does smell a little bit of uh, low tide. There's a fellow over there living on the cheap. It's got to be a place to put in somewhere. I remember these things. The bad news is I didn't have time to fish Canarsie Pier while I was there like this. The good news is people who live there nowadays have the opportunity to paddle around that area for free, which I found pretty shocking. I couldn't believe when I saw the uh, the license plate, you know, was, yeah. I'm like, government? Really? Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. It's, you yeah, know, it's wonderful. that uh, sounds like the government having fun, which is not usually all yeah, the case. Yeah, no, you know, <laughs> it's one of the things, it's really nice, you get to make people happy here. It's, yeah. uh, so usually, Dude, it's the best part of that when I went right. the rental business. Is yeah, people were happy when they came to see me. Right, it restored my of, faith in people because I had a construction job and mm, everybody wants something. Nothing's yeah, good yeah, enough. Yeah. Nothing's fast yeah. enough. Yeah, it's yeah. now, 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 and everybody's yeah. manic. And that's why I started going on the water was to get away from those it people. It actually chills you out. Yes. everyone. It's comes. like therapy. Yeah, it, it, it real is. therapy is expensive. This is. I know. think no, it's meditative. Definitely, it's a meditative sport. Yeah. And uh, how about uh, the, fishing? Do people fish? I mean, that's meditative uh, as well. Do people fish? Uh, people do fish, but not on the program. Okay. So on their own, there's a lot of that. There's a sure. lot of fishing. Out no doubt. Jamaica Bay from from kayaks. But this is just all about getting you on the water. Yep. Not about yep. going out. Yep. And we go a lot of interesting places, though. I think so. There are some. Uh, there's some folks who like realize that they're like oh i don't want to just go on that trip i want to go on that one and that one and that one and that one oh yeah it's addictive and, yeah yeah and they come on they come a lot i was surprised that the kayaks were free oh yeah there's no charge no charge that's amazing oh, yeah i mean uh, uh, it's great and you're getting people on the water and uh that's our mission awesome yeah. uh, and it's the best way to sort of experience the natural resources i agree to get going it. well you know we're, we're here uh at canarsie a lot I was surprised to hear that such a program existed, and I'll leave a link in the description if you want more info about this one. But I can't help but wonder if there are any programs like this in your hometown that you might not know about. Shortly after visiting Canarsie Pier, I saw some other things I recognized as a kid. And I got my first taste of what the traffic is probably like here most of the time. Oy vey. Where's the sign says forget about it? As we creeped along east from my hometown exit on the Bell Parkway. I remember as a kid looking out and seeing a giant dump, a city dump, near Fountain Avenue. 
Nowadays, even that was cleaned up. The long process of closing this landfill in favor of parkland began in 1974 when the site was given to the federal government. Yet the use of the site as a city dump continued through 1985, with the Fountain Avenue mound topping off at 140 feet. The mounds were capped, sealed, and planted with trees. Nowadays it smells a lot better and it's greener and it's called Shirley Chisholm State Park. It's a great place to go hiking and biking, except no dogs are allowed. Otherwise perhaps I would have taken a walk up there and seen what it looked like nowadays. A lot better, I'm sure. After I left NY and I got back to NC, I thought about all the sights that I wasn't able to catch while I was there. Although one place I did get to visit was what I consider my hometown, Canarsie. This, kids, is where I used to go to school. As a little baby. Yeah, you know, this is where Jerry's Comics was. I'm gonna drive down the L. Yeah, dang it, I fucking went Boy Scouts here. PS 115. 115. There it is. It's got a different name now. Yeah, and I lived here for a little bit. Mm hmm, right there. That's where my grandmother lived. Right there, that house. Look at somebody with a boot on their car. Oh, shit. Huh? Is Josh is Josh, yes, yes. Thank you. This was um, uh, Joe's Pizza. Children, ba ba ba. Avenue well. No, I can't see what I'm doing. No, no, uh, uh, uh. People are still double parking here. You remember that? That was always the thing. Everybody would double park on Avenue well. I'm gonna go to Kenny's. No. Let's go to the CV, CV Theater. Oh my Come God. The CV Theater. Theater. Theater's all boarded up. What happened? What happened was that almost 22 years had passed since I had lived here. Many of the familiar stores were all gone. This does not look familiar. Although I know I've been here. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And people that I knew as I grew up had moved on. This is all very strange to me. One thing we would always have though is our memories. Goodness gracious. I remember pulling up to this light in the Impala. There wasn't a light here. And the drive shaft fell that's out. That's right. <laughs> like right here. There was no light here, that's right. Yeah, I was I was waiting, I pulled up to the stop sign, and I was like, one more time, I'm gonna spin the tires. And I started spinning the tires and bonk, the freaking the drive shaft fell and it rolled right in front of the house and that's where she lay for quite a while. Oh jeez. This is uh well, my grandfather's old place. So many memories. That house, wow. Dude, there's a forest of bamboo in the backyard. I knew those folks there, and geez. My old memories of New York included smog in the air and very polluted waterways. So from this trip, I'm gonna take away hope, environmentally at least. Within just one generation, a lot of good can come out of a lot of bad. Yep, well, since I'm back, I'll try to get back to editing my Great Loop Adventure. And I think there's a Pelican Kayak giveaway coming in the future. And uh, who knows, you know, as long as I have something that is interesting, I will go ahead and share it with you guys. Hopefully uh, my life in the near future is very interesting and I understand what that means. <laughs> so uh, nice to be back and nice to see you guys haven't abandoned me completely. So. Uh, Stay tuned, maybe there'll be some good stuff in the future.